Hi folks, I'm Trevor Lewis from the Voyager Middle School Steam Lab and this is a video using SketchUp for Schools to use the Follow Me tool to Revolve. So Re Revolution is an important idea in CAD programs and they have included that in SketchUp for Schools with a special use of the Follow Me tool. So the Follow Me tool, when I click first, that's the shape that's going to follow me along a path and I need a circle in order to do a revolve and I need to go along that circular path. You can see that SketchUp's having a hard time doing the, the one that I'm using right here. And when I click, that's when it's gonna finish. So this is a, re a revolution around an axis of the circle that is not a touching the sketch. So that is one way to revolve. Another way to revolve involves having the axis of the circle line up with the center axis of the sketch. So then when I use the Follow Me tool, I can go along this sketch and you can see it's still struggling a little bit. If I hit the escape key here, I think I should be able to stop. Um, another way to do it is to select the circle first. I'm going to give it a double click and then choose the follow me tool and then click on my sketch. And what that does is it's telling it that I want to use the circle as my pathway. And so all it does is instead of having to try and do a preview live, it, does, it takes all that time to do my calculations. So you can see that there are still some problems. It didn't fill in the bottom, um, but this one's the right way out and this one's inside out. But that's how you revolve using the follow me tools. You have to use a circle. And you can see that depending on how many segments are in your circle, there is going to be some, some squareness to your final revolution. Um, if you want to watch my other videos about how to extrude or how to um, use the follow me tool to sweep or how to uh, manually loft, you have to watch those videos separately.